and uh, uh, if this earth uh, is destroyed, one of you all will be left. This is not politics. This is by God's design. Uh, the black woman was not made goddess through a political usurpation of patriarchy. This was the natural order of things. You don't need politics. You don't need all of that. All you need to do is find out who you are and be that. That's power in itself. Yes. And you have to be willing to, to sacrifice whatever it takes. If your quote-unquote friends fall away from you, if family move away from you, let them. But your ancestors won't. And you will be with your ancestors far longer than you will be on this earth. Yes. Yes. Believe that. Yes, I believe it. You will be far longer than you'll ever be here. This is a short journey, and it's a school. Mm. And I pray that we don't waste it in, in politics and power plays on, on who rules. Forget all of that. What's in you is what you need to find, and just be that, whatever it may be on whatever level it may be, and accept it. Accept Thank you, Mother. It. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you something, too, right quick. And, I, you know, because I don't want to keep you, but, you know, it's just a, a pleasure anytime you have an elder um, on the phone because right, right. there's so much, it's so much fake spirituality out here. It can, I just want to throw up. But how <laughs> How do how do we know authentic Vudon versus a bunch of this other stuff that's out here? How do you separate the wheat from the chaff? Yes, yes. Uh, that that is a difficult one, and it is. And uh, it's not just here; it's also in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, some of these things have become a cottage industry. Uh, I, I'm almost tempted. I have a lot of writing that I'm I'm trying to get a lot of things. Updated, but one of the things that is on the list, and uh, I want to put out at least a uh, uh, FAQ or a. Uh, you need to be educated on how to go to Africa. You need to be educated on what to look for, because you don't know, and if you don't have any experience in this tradition, uh, you won't know. Uh, and it can be a serious situation. Uh, but what I would advise in the beginning is to go slow. Go very, very, very slow. Jump in. Uh, inspiration notwithstanding. The best thing you can do is to pray to your ancestors with drink, libation. And uh, I will tell your audience how to do that. Uh, Thank you. Uh -huh. You just get a glass of water, get a glass of gin, right? and you get a glass of something sweet. It could be Coke or it could be Sprite. And you go, don't uh, go while you're ministrating. Don't go while you're angry. And make sure you've washed, you've bathed. Everybody needs to sit down and do their genealogy. You need to know who your people are, the good, the bad, the ugly. Huh. Don't believe this hype about, well, yeah, he was a bad man, he did bad things, or she was a bad mother, she did bad things, I don't love her. Always know that what your ancestors couldn't do for you in life, they can do for you in death. Hmm. Because they learn. They don't stop learning. And even whatever they were can also be used uh, in, in a good way now, that same force, to help you. Okay. So you have to forgive first. If you're carrying any anger towards anyone in your family, uh, and ancestors are not uncles and cousins and nephews. They are just mother, father, mother, father, mother, father. Okay? Ooh. First thing. And if you're carrying any anger in your heart, stomach, as we say, against them, uh, you need to forgive that, and you need to ask them to help you release it. Everything begins with the ancestors. Everything. Don't let nobody kid you. Mm. 
And if anybody does anything to you without them, then you know you're not in the right house. Mm. And uh, back to how you do it. You don't, no ministration. Forget that femini Western feminist menstrual blood. That's not your wall. And it has nothing to do with patriarchy. And if you are in the mysteries, then you will know why. But I understand it has nothing to do with the condemnation from patriarchy. It's not altogether different. Okay. Sure you're not ministrating. Uh, and make sure you're not angry or sad or depressed. But with a purpose. You call them out. Outside, you can go by water. You can go in your backyard. If you live in an apartment, just go somewhere where it's private. But, it, but outside, make sure it's outside. So if you can find a body of water, that's just as good. And you talk to them. You don't pray to them like you do Jesus or Buddha or whatever. Just talk to them because they're your people. Mm. And you tell them what's on your heart. Don't justify yourself. You don't explain why you did what you did uh, with your rationale. Just tell it like it is. You know, I was angry with you uh, because this is what this did to me. And now I realize that you yourself, you know, were a victim or I, uh, or maybe you didn't realize and maybe I just didn't understand why you did it. But I want to forgive you. I don't want to carry this pain no more. And uh, I need my rose open. I have no money or struggling, trying to keep my job, or I'm trying to keep the kids taken care of, or whatever the, whatever the issues are. Yeah. Or I don't know who I am. And I feel myself, and I know I must be somebody because I know you were. Keep me back to where I need to go. And after you do that, and you ask for forgiveness, because they're the first line. Always keep in mind, God gave your ancestors the first divine authority to bring you in the world. You didn't, one birth from the sun and the moon, literally, come out of a womb. That's divine authority. We take that for granted. And so God gives them the same authority to see you through this life. That's the hierarchy. They are first. Take it or leave it. But in the end, you're going back to it. Right. So make peace with it. After you say whatever it is you're going to say, just pour your drink to the ground. And then you walk away and be patient. Don't jump into anything, anything. Don't get on a plane and fly to Africa and think you're going to find what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> Many of them do that. You'd be surprised. Uh, that can be the most dangerous thing you can do. Because they have real stuff over there. And you don't know whether it's good or bad. And both come at you smiling. So just be careful. But be patient. When, uh, stay close to your ancestors. And when, they, uh, when the time is, is right, they will open the right road for you. Okay? And that, right, and that road... Before you get to the right door, they may lead you to one or two other doors to learn some things you need to know. So, Lord, don't, uh, we, we live in a culture of instant gratification. You know, you pay your money, you give me a service. But don't take that attitude. You have to think on a totally different level. You have to think on God's time. Hmm. I'm back to nature. Because that has not changed in spite of the superficial culture that we live in to give the illusion that they are in control of nature. They're not. Not divine nature. So you have to reorientate yourself. And uh, just go, it really is not as complicated uh, as people think because they tend to overlook the obvious. Yes, ma'am. 